everybody. We are back. My first guest tonight is, of course, the host of her very, uh, very own popular daytime show. Please welcome everyone's favorite, Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> How are you, Rosie? Good. I, I brought a little prop with me. What is that? Well, this is something that I saw at the sale rack at Target. Target? Yes. This we left about three weekends ago. I was there. There's a Target in my mall, and I was shopping for a big cup. Because, you know, I'm trying to lose a little weight. I'm drinking a lot of water. Right. That's I the way to do it, right? That's what they say. I saw this sitting there for sale, $1.19. Mm -hmm. I thought this is amazing. The biggest cup I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. I purchased it. I bring it into work. My staff's laughing at me because... During a meeting, when I take a sip, I cannot see them. Look. <laughs> okay? So they're uh -huh. thinking it's real funny, so they go, it would be funny to show it on the show. So I take it on the show, and I go, isn't that funny? See how I can't see from my cup? And people start writing in. Apparently, uh, people thought it was a vase. And that right. was sort of funny. Because it's kind of big for a sort cup. Sort of big for a cup, and it's not really smooth along the edge. Right. But I come to find out that it's not really uh, a vase. It is a toilet brush holder. <laughs> okay, so no, that's what it is. A toilet brush holder that was without the cap that I have been using for the last three weeks as a drinking cup. And can I tell you, ever since I found out, the water doesn't taste quite the same. No. Do you know what I mean? It was very humiliating. Oh, I was just hope it hadn't been returned, yeah. Exactly. Uh. That's what someone said. Can you imagine that? Someone used it and put it back on the sail rack and this isn't quite the right color no not really but oh, bad news for that me that is very bad it was bad you yeah. got over it though i did and i still use it because i can't really admit defeat you know no, I, I can't no. act like i made a huge error i'm like i knew it was that when i bought it and i don't right. mind it I, I like drinking from it so you you, you stir the drink with a brush oh, now oh yeah right? you know get a little martini mix going shake and not stirred you know for it for friends it's sure. really enjoyable i think oh, you, yeah. you're on to something you're not here. kidding you're not kidding you also and do your hair. Yeah. yeah, you see, Andy? Lots of uses yeah. for that. You look pretty now, Andy. Thank you. <laughs> You're, uh, you know, we, we you, you talk a lot about your, I talk about my family a lot. I come from big Irish family, right. and I know that you talk about your family a lot, and you talk about your dad. Right. And I wanted to ask you, because you portray him as maybe not being the sharpest knife in the drawer. Is that fair? He's, he is a stupid guy, Colin. Oh, there you go. He is, okay. He's, he's not really, he's Trying to be polite about it. Well, he knows. He's got a thick Irish brogue. My father's from Tyrone, and uh, when I was a kid, my friends used to make fun of him, and he never even realized it. You know, they'd call my house, and he'd answer the phone, Hello, who do you want to speak to? And my friends would say, Always after me, Lucky Charms, the faster old sale, sweet surprises. And he'd be like, Slow down, sweetheart. And I'd see a message where, you know, he's like, Green clovers, they're magically delicious. All right, she'll call you back, love, she'll call you back. Oh. And I'd see notes on the refrigerator, like, you know, Ro, Jackie called, said, Manly, yes, but I like it too. <laughs> and he would always think it was a code, you know, he'd mm -hmm. say to me, what you doing, you kids? You're taking the pot, aren't you, darling? Are you taking pot? Don't you be taking the pot in my house. He was very concerned about the pot. Really? Yeah. I like how he calls it the pot. Exactly. It's not just pot, it's the pot. Well, and it was the transportation of the marijuana that was paramount to him. Don't you be taking the pot. He wanted to know if you were taking pot, uh -huh. you know? Right, right. Yeah. And uh, he's, he's not the smartest guy. I bought him a phone answering machine mm -hmm. a few years ago for Christmas. And when you call to leave a message at his house, it's like, ring, ring. Ah, oh, damn it, Mary, come over here and see if you can leave a message a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> no idea how poor to use man. it. No. This and poor I, man. But, you know, I like to taunt him, Conan. Uh -huh. I taunt him once a year. I call up his machine. I know he's not home, and I leave a message. Uh, this is uh, Rosie. I'm looking for Don. I'm trying to buy some pot. Uh, is this the right number? Can you call me? And he calls me up screaming. Now I've got wrong tape, you big pot taker! <laughs> Out there in Hollywood, you pot taker! <laughs> Take that pot. He's very concerned. Now, you, uh, you mentioned you're, 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 you're trying to lose some weight. You've been exercising a lot? I've been doing that, yeah. I've been doing the little thing. It's fun, you know. you got to do it. you got to work out. I did pull my back muscle. You ever have a sciatica thing? No, I've never had a back stuff, but I've had other stuff. No, when you, when you work out, that's what happens. Yeah, I didn't know that, because I hadn't been working out. And I really went full gusto during the summer, and I actually had a sciatica thing. And so this masseuse told me you should use ice on it, right? So one night I'm watching TV, I put the ice on my sciatic part, right, my hip, high knee, butt 
combination area. And those um, complicated scientific terms are throwing me. Exactly. And I, I put it on there, and it was feeling good. It was nice and numb, and I was mm -hmm. feeling better. So I thought I'm going to get another ice pack and just tuck one in there as I fall asleep watching mm -hmm. your program. So I go to the freezer. <laughs> I go and I grab the... It'll put you to sleep, yeah. Well, you know, it's neat. Yeah, okay. sure. So I grab the um, ice pack, and I notice it doesn't look like the other ice pack. It was the ice pack that I got from purchasing meat at Citarella, which is a meat store here. In, it was mm -hmm. a thick, dry ice ice pack to freeze your meat, not to put on your hiney. Right. I didn't realize this. Mm -hmm. I put it right on the hiney, which was already numb, fell asleep, woke up at 3 in the morning, and I thought, oh, that's weird. I forgot to take the ice pack. I threw the ice pack down and went back to sleep. And I'm like, oh, geez, I didn't remember putting two. And I reached back, and the exact shape of that ice pack was my frozen ass. <laughs> it was red. It was raised two inches off the... It looked... It felt like a handle. You could just lift and move me with the ice pack uh -huh. indentation. It was not... And it stayed that way for about two weeks, and I had to go to the doctor. Uh -huh. Very embarrassed. What, did he light a fire near it? What did he do? Well, he, it, he said, you have, you have frostbite on your ass. Then he said to me, he said, were you mountain climbing? I said, oh, yes, Mount Everest last week. And I just, I hiked on up there, put my right. ass on the ice, and came back down. You know, but I had frostbite, literally. I had to put cortisone oh. cream on it. Oh, you're better now, though. I'm better. It's not pretty. There is a scar. But you had, you had, did any fun this summer at all? Did you go anywhere to yeah, do was, anything? I spent the whole summer in Miami. Oh, that's great. Yeah, we get the whole summer off, which right. is good for us. And you know I like to rescue people. I told you that, right? You've said that before. You know, I'm a big rescue person. I love Rescue 911. I love danger and then me saving people. So I was on my uh, boat with my children and some friends and their children, a whole bunch of us on the mm -hmm. boat. And I'm showing them the sea turtles and the dolphins, and I see a shark. I see, like, a nine-foot shark lumbering. Must be an injured shark, I'm thinking, because it's not moving very fast. But still, very dangerous close to shore. Sure, shark, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm like, everybody, get back! Go to the back of the boat! Leave this to me! I get on my CB radio, Coast Guard emergency channel, and I'm bragging because mm -hmm. I'm about to rescue people. This is Rosie O'Donnell, Coast Guard, come in! Rosie O'Donnell, come in! <laughs> They're like, uh, yeah, copy, who? Rosie O'Donnell from the TV show. Are you familiar with my work? <laughs> uh, yeah, what the hell you want, uh, Rosie? Okay, I am right outside of South Beach, and there is a huge man-eating shark. I have visual contact with the shark. Visual contact, copy, visual contact. Uh, yeah, Rosie, can you describe the shark for me, sweetheart? Yes, sir, I can. Back, everyone, back! It's about nine foot long, and it obviously the dorsal fin was cut off by some sort of propeller accident because it's lumbering. It's lumbering, it's got a square white head. Yeah, Rosie, uh, that's a manatee, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> the friendliest fish in the sea. A manatee! <laughs> I was so embarrassed. And then oh. everybody had heard it. Because right. it's the Coast Guard channel that people listen to when they're on the boat. So then I hear people, <laughs> You idiot! Go back to New York! <laughs> Your show stinks and so do you! <laughs> that was my life what saving nice, of the oh, summer. I'm yeah. sorry. Well, you know. Man, and people now stop me on the street, and they're like, you know, be careful, there's a man-eating manatee right near you. <laughs> yeah, it might hug you to death. Exactly. Yeah. You, uh, we should mention this. This is kind of exciting. And I, this is, a, they've come out with a, uh, the Barbie people have come out with a Rosie O'Donnell doll. Hard to believe. Yeah. Friend of Barbie. Look at, oh, you're friend of Barbie? I am Rosie, friend of Barbie. Okay, let's get a shot of that. This is not a bad likeness, though. No, not kidding. It's the first full-figured Barbie. All right. And all right. Nice. It is. Because they, they called me and asked if I wanted to be a Barbie, and I said, only if you make the waist go straight down, no mm -hmm. indents, and if the thigh and arms are twice the size of the regular Barbie, oh. and if you give me a little double chin, and they did. <laughs> so we're in. There it is. Comes complete with manatee, I understand. It does, yeah. yes, it does. I, uh, you know, I've been trying to market this, and no one's buying it. I've tried and tried through the G.I. Joe people. Oh, yeah. It's not... It's nice, though. That's nice. It's I can just picture the sad kid like, hello, Rosie, hello, Conan, we're both on TV. Oh, that poor kid. But what is that one made out of? This one? Yeah. That's white chocolate. No, come <laughs> yeah, on. Enjoy that. It's like, oh, that's very nice. Isn't that nice? Yeah, the hair's not right, though. It has to be a little boofier. Yeah. Don't you think? <laughs> yeah. Well, you've the little... There's a knob you turn on the back that the boosts hair out goes the hair. Up, yeah. Yeah. Like beautiful hair Chrissy. Yeah. Those will be all the rage for Christmas. You watch. <laughs> beautiful Furby hair baby. Pony. That'll be nice. <laughs> Uh, well, of course, the uh, the Rosie O'Donnell Show on weekdays. Check your local listings. Rosie, it's always a blast when you come by. Thank you so much for Thanks doing for it. Thanks for having me, Paul. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah. Rosie O'Donnell, everybody. Serena Williams is coming up in just a bit. We'll be right back.